Good evening, and welcome to Creative Broadcasting, the station of unlimited possibilities. Presents Creating Your Seat at the Table with your host, Ashley Little, as she welcomes her guest to the table. Welcome to Creating Your Seat at the Table. I am your host, Ashley Little. A little bit about me, corporate professional by day, entrepreneur by night, two-time best-selling author, CEO and founder of Ashley Little Enterprises, LLP, owner and creator of Creative Broadcasting, and co-founder and owner of Talk Radio and TV Network, LLP. Tonight, we have an amazing guest by the name of Sheena Johnson. A little bit about her. Sheena Johnson is the owner of 24-Hour Entrepreneur, where she teaches entrepreneurs how to start and successfully run their businesses. She does this through quarterly workshops and masterclasses. She is also the co-owner of SBGTF Logistics, LLC, a transportation and trucking company servicing all lower 48 states, Canada, and Mexico. SBGTF, which is short for Save by Grace Through Faith, also transport at-risk juveniles and families affected by homelessness in Milwaukee and South Milwaukee, Wisconsin. She is a wife and mother of three residing in Houston, Texas. She started her journey in entrepreneurship as a hairstylist approximately 14 years ago. Although her start was behind the chair, she quickly gained a fascination with the business side of the industry. Coming from a family of business owners, it was only a matter of time before she became one herself. Opening her first business, Panache Beauty Bar, in 2009, Sheena learned quickly that entrepreneurship took hard work and dedication. In August of 2011, Sheena's grandparents, who at the time had a struggling transportation company in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, needed help. So with the little business experience she had, Sheena moved to Milwaukee and took over her family's company for the next eight years. As a result, the company rebounded, grew, and secured the biggest contract for private transportation in the state of Wisconsin. Sheena volunteers her time by servicing the the community through coat and toy drives, turkey giveaways, and free transportation to single moms and teenage girls. Her organization, Christian Women Connect, is a platform for women to support, uplift, and encourage one another through monthly meetings and their annual brunch. Sheena is a firm believer of hard work, following your dreams, and never giving up. She believes that with God, all things are possible. She is a living testimony. Welcome, welcome to the table, Sheena Johnson. Hello, hello. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> awesome. I'm honored and humbled to be able to interview you tonight. You have such an amazing bio. So would you please tell our listeners more about your entrepreneurial journey? Yes. So uh, as my bio stated, you know, um, I've been an entrepreneur for about 14, 15 years. And, you know, my journey has not been the easiest, but it's been well worth it, especially having a family and just being uh, in control of my own um, financial destiny, you know. And I encourage everyone that is thinking about going into entrepreneurship or starting a business to just, you know, go for it. Plan, but go for it because, you know, it's worth it. Um, I started in hair care and skin care, and I did that for a couple of years, and then I was um, – I, my grandmother asked if I could come in and help with transportation. I had no, um, I had no experience in the transportation world. But when I tell you that, you know, when we pray for things, mm -hmm. God will show us and teach us things. We don't have to. Sometimes we don't have to search high and low and hard for the answer. Sometimes we just have to get in our quiet place and pray and really start to just write out our goals and write things and then, you know, do a little research here, a little research there, you know, um, and learn and ask questions along the way, you know, and it is good to get, you know, um, further education in your craft and in that area. But when you want to do something and it's really in your heart and you have a passion for it, I say go for it. Um, I had a passion for helping young women and I just went for it, and our transportation started with young girls and young boys, and, I mean, it just grew from there. You know, a lot of mistakes were made, and it's okay. I think a lot of people think that it's not okay to make mistakes and they want everything to be perfect. Everything won't be perfect, but it's okay to make mistakes, you know. We made a lot of mistakes, and we still make some mistakes and you know, um, in our business, but, you know, the number one key is we just don't give up. I love it. So you have an amazing, <laughs> like I said, amazing journey. You started out 
like you said, in hair care, but you came from a family of entrepreneurs. So it was, it was yes. destined for you, basically. It was in your blood. <laughs> yes. Yes, it it really was. Um, my grandmother, she had multiple businesses as I was growing up. Like I said, she had tr- transportation, and she started in social services, so she had um, after-school programs and um, a human services, her, uh, social services agency to help women in um, the immediate Milwaukee area. And, um, you know, just seeing her and when I would visit her, working for her, um, you know, when I was a teenager and then my mom, she owned a couple of hair salons when I, as I was growing up, just working in the salon with my mom and shampooing hair and cleaning up the shop and sweeping. So it was definitely something that I um, saw. It was definitely something that I saw entrepreneurship and business ownership, um, you know, as a young girl and teenager growing up. I love that. So tell us more about your company, 24-Hour Entrepreneur. <laughs> yes, so 24-Hour Entrepreneur was launched in 2017. Uh, my husband and I, we um, both my husband is an entrepreneur as well as I, and, you know, we always get the question, how do you start a business or how do you do that or, you know, and sometimes some people think it's just so far out there that it's not attainable. You have to be just the most smartest person in the world to own and run the business. And, I mean, if you're teachable, you can run a business. So 2017, we launched 24-Hour Entrepreneur, and it's basically a safe haven for entrepreneurs that are starting up and even uh, seasoned entrepreneurs. So they can come to us. You know, we help them through – we have a membership, and with that membership, you are able to receive um, educational classes, so we provide – entrepreneur educational classes um, every two weeks, and these classes are like a wide range of classes where, you know, we teach you QuickBooks, um, tax preparation, um, how to properly go through the hiring process when dealing with employees, anything about business that you can name, we have a class for it. And so we um, have those classes available for um, our members to come in. If you're not a member, the classes are, like, they range from 5 to $10. not expensive because we know when going into entrepreneurship, you're trying to save money where you can, and you want to get as much free information and as much help um, as you can. So we went into it with the mindset as, hey, you know what? We're going to help entrepreneurs be able to start up their business and not have these ridiculous price ranges, you know. So a lot of the courses and classes that we do are free or are um, very, very affordable for entrepreneurs. And what are some of the master classes that you all do? Our biggest master class is the transportation master class where we teach um, entrepreneurs or um, those that want to get into the trucking industry. So like mm-hmm. like we stated, I have a trucking company, SBGTF Logistics. My parents, they're mm-hmm. also in trucking. And my grandparents, mm-hmm. she went on to pass the company, and she started. She started in transportation. So not only just entrepreneurship in my family, transportation is a big key. And, I mean, we're all in transportation. Everyone in my family has done transportation. <laughs> so yes. we wanted to teach, you know, drivers, um, CDL drivers and owner-operators, how to get their own business so that they can take control of their own money. They don't have to take the pennies that a lot of these large companies are paying, and they can take control and start their own trucking company and learn how to get their own loads and learn how to, um, you know, work with their own freight. So um, that is one of the biggest classes, our master class, our transportation master class. The next transportation master class is June 8th. Eight. And I'm so very excited because when we have those master classes, I mean, so many drivers and women, I mean, women are starting to dominate the transportation industry. And so we, our last class, we had um, more women than we actually had men that were really, really interested and, I mean, really on board with getting their authority and just getting those trucks on the road. Awesome, awesome. So tell us more about you're the co-owner of SBGTF Logistics. So I know you spoke a little bit about that, too, so that it ties into the 24-hour entrepreneur as well, right? It kind of ties, yes, it, it, it ties it, together. 
Okay. Exactly. It ties into that because we do have a, tra- a trucking company, which is SBGTF Logistics. And so how it ties into 24 Hour Entrepreneurs, because we teach the class, the, okay. as 24 Hour Entrepreneur, we teach the Transportation Master Class. And so we're able to show pictures and give stories about, you know, our work in the transportation field with SVGTF Logistics. And so that's how it's kind of connected through our master class. And my husband and I, we teach that master class together. And we have other master classes, but that's our biggest master class that we always sell out immediately because there's such a high demand in the trucking industry. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So what are some strategies you would give to listeners who are interested in the transportation industry? Uh, Just, you know, um, don't be afraid. You know, it is something new. And everything, not even in the transportation business, but going into the transportation industry and also going into business, don't be afraid. You know, that's the biggest thing. Uh, And be able to be teachable. You know, um, a lot of times when working with uh, entrepreneurs and people who want to go into business, we sometimes, and myself included, we sometimes have maybe a know-it-all um, kind of, you know, attitude, whereas we feel like, okay, I know this and I know that, but I think that if we just were to come together and just say, okay, teach me, you know, everything, even though I know that, please tell me more of it, and then don't be afraid to ask questions, get online, research, and take your time and plan. We uh, we went to a lot of different companies when we wanted to start our own truck, trucking company, my husband and I, and we just went with everyone we could to get information, and some of that information wasn't the best information. So we also had to do we had to do like a self check or a second check. So even when getting that information, always do your homework. Also, get a second check, and um, the biggest thing is get organized. You know, write write down. Okay, this is first. This is second. This is what I want to do. Have a plan when going into the trucking industry because, or and going into any industry because there are good times in business. And there are bad times in business. And when you hit those rough patches in business, you want to make sure you get back to your plan. You remember why you're doing this. You remember what your goal is so that you won't be detoured or you won't get discouraged and want to quit. You know, um, sometimes when we are fresh and want to go into business, we write every thought down of everything we can think of. But yet when we hit a bump in the road, we forget about all of those innovative ideas we had written down in the beginning, and then we start to pull in other sources and other and leave that business alone and jump to the next business, and we just need to go back to step one. So having a good plan, staying organized, asking questions, and just being open for help, you know, and it's okay if you get it wrong. It's okay, like I said before, to make mistakes because you can change mistakes, you know. Um, so that that's my advice um, for anyone wanting to go into the trucking industry. It's not hard. It's very easy to get into the trucking business, but you have to be able to put in the work. Nothing comes for free and nothing comes like, you know, hey, tomorrow you got it, you know, perfect up and running business, perfect and bringing in as much money as you possibly can, you have to work to get where you want to be in this industry. Awesome. Just enjoying the process, right? <laughs> yes, enjoy, enjoy, the, enjoy the process. And also, Ashley, I think it's good to celebrate the small milestones, you know. Yes. Um, this week I had two of our uh, attendees one, he received his plates for his truck and his decals for his truck to be able to, to get running. And then the other, um, a client, she also an attendee of the class, she bought her truck and her trailer. And so, you know, I expressed to them that it's very important. You know, you may have a long way to go or you may have some other goals and things to knock off your list, but take this moment and enjoy this moment and um, celebrate yourself because a lot of people give up before they even get to this process, you know. So celebrate everything that happens, the small victories, you know, because you'll be so it'll be so much more worth it and meaningful when you get to the bigger ones, you know. Awesome. So tell us more about Christian Women Connect. 
So, yes, Christian Women Connect in 2015, I believe, 2015, 2016, I went to a women's conference, and um, it was really a time in my life that I had a lot going on. But, you know, sometimes as women, we, you know, have a lot going on, but we feel like, okay, I can handle this, you know. Everybody has things going on in their life, but I can handle this. So, of course, I went to this women's conference by myself. Um, I got a hotel room by myself, and I had a wonderful time at the conference. And at the conference, um, I believe it was maybe the second night, uh, Nancy Lee DeMoss, that's who was holding the conference, the uh, Revive Our Hearts conference, a true true woman conference, sorry. And she said, okay, well, let's just pray and everyone come out. And, um, you know, if you need prayer or if you need someone to send an agreement with you for anything, you know, just raise your hand or turn to your neighbor. You know, we have people in the aisle. And so I was sitting there with my cute outfit, and I just felt like, you know what, I don't think I need prayer, but, I mean, everything is okay, you know. I mean, everybody has issues, you know, with work and being a business owner and employees and then to turn around and come home with my kids or whatever. So um, I sat there the whole night. I decided to leave whenever the uh, session was over. And so I got back into my room and started going over my notes. And I realized oh, my gosh, like, I have so much going on in my life. And in that moment, I had, like, such a breakdown. And I realized, you know, I don't have it all together. And it's so easy because knowing myself, I feel like, okay, I'm an open book. I'm an open woman. I don't mind expressing, you know, some things that I've gone through. But in that moment, I had a prideful moment. Mm -hmm. And in that prideful moment, I realized, okay, you know, I needed help, but I was too I was too full of pride to ask for help in that moment, you know, mm-hmm. and I didn't yeah. see yeah. it when I was in that moment. So I came home, and over the next couple of weeks, I decided, like, okay, let me try to reach out to some friends, to some Christian friends, maybe we can talk about our issues or mom, you know, mom group or something or other, so. Uh-huh. I couldn't find any, and everyone that I did or bring it up to kind of met me with that prideful kind of spirit also. So I said, you know what, maybe I should just create or come up with, you know, a group where we can just be women. We can be just women, you know, balls down, roof off, you know, just that we can just come together and just be transparent with each other, pray for each other, support each other, help each other, and just no judgment. You know, okay, I'm dealing with this. I've dealt with that. Let me help you or give you some advice on how I got through it. And no, you know, and it was very hard because being a young woman growing up, it's always competition. And there's never really, I've never really experienced a sisterhood. So I uh, founded Christian Women Connect. And I just wanted it to be an organization where we could come together and we could just be who we want to be. No frowning up at each other, no looking side eye at one another. You know, if somebody walks in like, yeah, I'm cute, you know, we're rooting her on like, you are cute, not she thinks she's cute, you know? Right. And Mm -hmm. so um, we started with that and then it kind of turned into Bible studies, you know, um, twice a month or once a month as the women could get together. And then once a year we have a brunch, and um, the brunch is um, held in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, or Houston, Texas. And so we kind of go back and forth each month, each year. But um, we just had one last year in October. It was called the I Am Purpose Brunch, and it was just amazing. We had some amazing speakers and um, we had some true breakthroughs, and we were just women. You know, we even had some women apologize to other women that they saw there that they had maybe had some prior conflict with and just kind of buried that jealousy, that envy is. I mean, we didn't even, they didn't even know why they had had an issue with each other. But just coming together and just, you know, loving on one another and just really, truly building a sisterhood, and that is what Christian Women Connect is all about. <laughs> Awesome. I just want to thank you for creating that space, you know, for women to connect yes. and come together and definitely oh. worship and submit and surrender to God because it's important that he's a yes. part of the journey. Yes. yes. I love that. 
Yes. That that's what so, it's that's what it's all about. Yes, it is. It is. So how so I I ask all of my guests this question, Sheena. How did you uh-huh. create your seat at the table? You know, how did I create my seat at the table? You know, I just had to gain some confidence. And I had to not take no for an answer. You know, mm-hmm. um, I'm the type of person where if, and I've always been like this with just the smallest things, if someone tells me no or it's not possible, I'm going to find out how can I make it possible. You know, oh, we have no more tickets to this event. The event's sold out. Then I'm going to see who has tickets for sale, who can't make it to the event. I can buy the tickets from you. You know, it's not, oh, yeah, they're closed for the night and we can't serve you anymore, I'm going to go like, okay, how can I get around this? And a lot of times we take no as the last answer, as the final say. And in business and in my life, just especially in business and entrepreneurship, I've got a lot of no's. And I remember going to um, auditions and – or not auditions, well, I was an actress once, and I went to auditions and got turned down, but that's another story. But I – would go to uh, interviews, and people would always tell me I'm overqualified. But I needed a job, and I had no job. But I had the credentials to be an entrepreneur, self-employed, but I never I never took it. So I would go and try to work as someone's assistant or try to do this, but I had all this great, you know, experience. And everyone would tell me, you're just too experienced for this. And so I just decided, you know what? I'm not going to wait for somebody to give me a job. I'm not going to wait for an opportunity to come from, to me. I'm going to make my own opportunity, and I'm going to find out how to do it. So if I'm working under someone, okay, yeah, I'm going to work with you and help build your vision, but you know what? I don't want to be the person that is helping or working, and we do need those people. But I know for me, I wasn't that person. I wanted to be the boss, and I was thinking, okay, if that person – can sit at the table, then I can sit at the table too, you know, and I'm going to do whatever it is necessary to get at the table. And I believe that just taking no for an answer and never, never stopping believing in myself, no matter what anyone says, they may hurt my feelings or I may cry, but that's not going to deter me from having my feet at the table. And so that's why I think that that's, my answer, you know, um, I believe just never giving up and having a strong will. Awesome, awesome. So we all have a process that we go through on our journey. So what does failure mm-hmm. teach you? Goodness, failure taught me that, you know what, it's okay, you know. Um, and it's okay to accept failure in some areas because those things teach you the mistakes that you've made and how not to make them before. And my failures have also humbled me in certain areas. You know, I think that sometimes we feel like, okay, if I fail at this or – because I've had a failed business. The first business that I started in transportation was Elite Transporters, where I went into business with my brother and my uncle. And that business failed horribly. And – it helped me to humble myself, not only in partnerships, especially going into a new partnership with my husband, but it helped humble me in just learning from others, not feeling like I know it all or the boss complex, but also allowing me to understand that it's okay if this didn't work. It's okay that this didn't um, take me where I wanted it to go because In that, I learned what it takes and what I need to make something else go farther. I love that because failure is all what you know. It's not failure; it's a lesson, right? And it's part of process. Yes, it's a lesson. The next level, absolutely. Exactly. It's it's always there to help us as part of that that way to the top. Yes. Yes. So what did so what did success teach you? Goodness, success has taught me that you never stop grinding and working hard because you can reach the height of your success in a certain area or in a certain industry. And the same way you work so hard to get there, it can be taken away. Um, One wrong decision, you know, things can change. 
So it's taught me to stay innovative, to continue to bring in, um, to continue to learn new trades, continue to learn new things, because nothing is forever, nothing is guaranteed. So as long as I have conquered a certain amount of success in this area, never stop. Never stop and always continue to um, learn, always continue to learn new things, always continue to better myself, always continue to stay on my grind, to stay in the hustle, um, because you never know um, what can happen. And to make um, wise investments and to make sure that you always take care of your family first, you know, creating an inheritance for your family is what we are supposed to do. So always making sure that we are wise with our money and our financial planning. So those are some of the things that success has uh, taught me. I love it. Always remain a student. Love that. Yes. So what, so what can we expect from you the rest of 2019? Wow. <laughs> well, mm-hmm. uh, 2019 – you can um, you can expect to be looking out for the um, Christian Women Connect brunch, which we have um, every year, and just more master classes and helping people reach their goals, helping people reach people and entrepreneurs reach their goals. Um, yeah, you know um, that's something that's very very uh, very close to my heart and something that I really really love. So. That's it, just to grow our network and just to connect other entrepreneurs and to help people grow their business. And and hopefully we can get into some investing and investing in, you know, other people's business ventures and ideas and things of that nature. Amazing. Well, I'm excited to see all the great things that, you know, God is going to do for you the rest of 2019. So would you please you. tell our listeners, you're welcome, Mom. Would you please tell our listeners how they can follow and contact you? Yes, you can find me on Facebook if you're into Facebook. And Facebook, my Facebook is 24 Hour Entrepreneur. And the Instagram is 24HR underscore entrepreneur. That's 24HR underscore entrepreneur. The Twitter is bizmagnate, so B-I-Z-M-A-G-N-A-T-E. And um, you can check out my website. It has all of our new classes, all of our master classes, our events. Um, there's a blog on there. There are um, questions and answers, especially in business, and that's 24hourentrepreneur.com. Very simple, 24hourentrepreneur.com, and you can leave me an email on there or connect with me on there on the website, and I respond uh, within 24 hours. So, yeah, you can connect with me directly through the email, through the uh, website. Awesome. Well, please follow and support Sheena. She has such a humble spirit. She's always sharing. I know people's posts and always collaborating, <laughs> and she's always a servant of giving. So I just want to say yes. that about her. I love your spirit, Sheena. I remember being on your show last year, and, you know, now we're like, we connected, and now you're on my show. So it's just been a yes. great time. I want to thank you for your humble spirit, your servant spirit, and just being open and genuine and, you know, collaborating with, you know, with people and making those connections because, I mean, you do that consistently on a daily basis. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support. Oh, wow. Thank you, Ashley. It is a pleasure and an honor to be on your show. I was super, super excited when you reached out to me. Um, I would love for us to collaborate and you come um, and maybe be a guest. Hopefully I can get, schedule you in to be a guest speaker at um, our next event. You are such a motivation, and I just love everything that you're doing. Thank you so much. And I just want to thank you, thank you, thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to come to the table <laughs> today. And I can't wait to invite you back. <laughs> yes, I, lo- I love having a seat at the table. It feels good. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So thank you, Sheena, once again. Thank you and many, many blessings to you. And I look forward to continuing to connect and continuing to collaborate with you. Yes, ma'am.
All right. So I would like to give a special thanks to Tammy Collins Marquis and John Schamberger. I would also like to give a special thanks to Dr. Larry White Sr. and author Kimberly McLemore. You all may follow me on Facebook at Ashley Little and on Instagram at underscore Ashley A. Little. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Creating Your Seat at the Table, where Ashley speaks with corporate professionals, celebrities, entrepreneurs, authors, and speakers who are transitioning or have transitioned to entrepreneurship. 